This is Brian Klein with Thunderhead Engineering. Today I'd like to show you how to download the most recent release of FDS and Smokeview from the NIST website, install it on your computer, and then go into the Pyrosim preferences and point to the new version of FDS and Smokeview um, that Pyrosim will use when it's running the simulation and when it loads the visualizations for you. So let's get started. The first thing that you do is download the most recent release of FTS. You can look through here and find the version that's compatible with your operating system. There's Windows, Apple, Linux, and then whether it's 32 or 64-bit. So on my machine it's Windows and 64-bit. I will download this. Now that we have the uh, executable ready, um, on Windows 8 I'll get this um, protection if it's turned on, but I will say more info and run anyway. This will start the installation for self-extraction. I want it to write to the directory. I'm just going to leave everything alone and say unzip so that it goes to the standard location. 631 files have been unzipped. Now it'll run a small batch, kind of a batch file script to set up all of the file associations and everything, and everything's installed. So now uh, I can open up Pyrosim and under File and then Preferences uh, we can go to the FDS tab and here it tells us where the executable locations are for FDS, the MPI version, and Smokeview. The versions that come with Pyrosim in this case are the versions that are compatible. If I use the new 6.1.0 version uh, there may be some incompatibilities with the user interface and what FDS is expecting, so I'll skip it. But usually Smokeview um, is backward compatible and new versions can uh, easily read older versions of FDS data. So um, all we do here is click the little folder directory here and now um, go up a few levels to program files. Um, it was written to FDS, FDS6, and bin. And here we see some of the executables for FDS and Smokeview. So I'll pick on the Smokeview EXE and say OK. And so now we see that the path is to the Smokeview that's in the FDS um, project directory that I just installed and not under the Pyrosim directory. And when you say OK, now when you um, open a file, so let's go to a recent, uh, let's go to a recent file here, and I have um, Smokeview results button. I can click it, and we'll notice here that it's now running Smokeview 6.1.0.10 that was built on May 28th. So this is the newest version. Okay, so that's it. It's fairly straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at thunderheadeng.com. Uh, we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.